Arithmetic Review, Fractions, Part 3. In this third part, we're going to review multiplication of fractions. There is really nothing tricky about multiplying fractions. Say we wanted to multiply the following two fractions, 8 thirds times 7 thirds. When multiplying fractions, all you need to do is multiply across each fraction's numerator and each fraction's denominator. In this case, we multiply the numerators 8 and 7, which is equal to 56, and we multiply the denominators 3 times 3, obtaining 9. In essence, you pretty much place the product of the numerator over the product of the denominator. When dealing with fractions, always remember to simplify and reduce the fraction whenever possible. In this example, the answer 56 over 9 is already reduced in simplest form, since there are no common factors that can be cancelled out from both the numerator and denominator. Let's go over another example. Say I want to multiply the following fractions. 10 over 7 times negative 1 over 3. Once again, multiplying fractions is fairly straightforward. All we need to do is to multiply the numerators together. In this case, 10 times negative 1. And multiply the denominators together. In this case, 7 times 3. Then it's just a matter of individually simplifying the numerator and denominator. Simplifying the numerical expressions, we obtain the final answer equal to negative 10 over 21. Recall that we can also move the negative sign in front of the fraction, as follows. Yielding the following equivalent fraction, negative 10 over 21. Notice that in this example, the fraction is in simplest form. There is no need to reduce the fraction. Now let's try an example where we need to reduce the fraction. Say we want to multiply the following fractions. 4 fifths times 10 over 12. We first multiply each fraction's numerator and denominator across. Doing that, we obtain the fraction 40 over 60. Notice that we can simplify this fraction since both 40 and 60 have a common factor. Both 40 and 60 end with 0, so we can divide both of these numbers by 10. Dividing numerator and denominator by 10 yields the fraction 4 6. This fraction can be further reduced since both 4 and 6 are even meaning that they have 2 as a common factor. So we go ahead and divide both numerator and denominator by 2. Doing that yields the final answer equal to 2 thirds. Always reduce a fraction whenever possible. We can also reduce the fraction first before proceeding with the multiplication step. For example, we can first start by reducing the fractions across the multiplication sign. In other words, we can reduce the numerator of one fraction and the denominator of the other fraction. In this example, the numerator 4 can be simplified with the denominator 12. Since both of these numbers have a common factor, in this case, they are both divisible by 4. So the numerator 4 simplifies to 1, and the denominator 12 reduces to 3. In the same manner, the numerator 10 can be simplified with the denominator 5, since both of these numbers have 5 as a common factor. So the numerator 10 simplifies to 2 and the denominator 5 simplifies to 1. By reducing first, we will now be multiplying smaller numbers. In this case, we now have 1 over 1 times 2 thirds, which simplifies to 2 thirds. Keep in mind that this method of reducing fractions across the multiplication operator only works when multiplying fractions. Do not try to simplify fractions when you're adding or subtracting them. Recall that you need to find the common denominator before you add or subtract fractions. The final type of multiplication problems that you might encounter is when you're multiplying an integer by a fraction. For example, say we want to multiply the following numerical expressions. 2 times 4 fifths. Recall that another way of writing the integer 2 as a fraction is by thinking about the numerator as having a denominator of 1. So we can rewrite the integer 2 as 2 over 1. Now we can go ahead and multiply across. Carrying out the product, we obtain the final answer equal to 8 fifths. Alright, let's end the video with the final example. Let's multiply the following numerical expressions. 3 over 36 times 3. We can write 3 as a fraction by including the integer 1 in the denominator, as follows. 
Next, we can take the numerator of either fraction and simplify it with the denominator of the left fraction, since both 3 and 36 have a common factor of 3. So we go ahead and divide the numerator of either fractions and 36 by 3. I'm going to simplify the numerator of the right fraction. Doing that, we obtain the following. Next, we go ahead and multiply the fractions. Any number multiplied by 1 is equal to itself. In this case, we obtain 3 over 12. This fraction can be further simplified by dividing both numerator and denominator by 3. Reducing the fraction, we obtain the final answer equal to 1 fourth. Alright, in our next video, we're going to continue reviewing operations with fractions. This time around, we will review division of fractions and review how to convert mixed numbers into fractions.